Tech Talk Friday! Welcome back guys! So you might be wondering why your PC runs so slow sometimes and other weird behavior is popping out of your browser. Guess what? For today's Tech Talk, I will be discussing computer viruses and how we can deal with them. A little bit of history. When the computer virus thing first appeared, the first computer virus is called the Creeper system and was first released in 1971 as an experimental self-replicating virus. The purpose of that virus is to fill up the hard drive until a computer could not operate any further. Computer viruses, yes, they come and go in different form and sizes but not literally in their physical form but in a software form. Some computer viruses can be devastating and some are just meh that we can deal on them on our own. Today in the year 2020, we face modern computer viruses like the oh-so-famous ransomware virus that encrypt your files and the hacker demands money from it in order for your files to be accessed again. It is called the crypto locker, which is a type of malware that gained authority, I think, over the last few years. There are many types of computer viruses that is roaming around the vast internet, and the best way to counter it is to have an antivirus software. But not exactly. Having an antivirus software won't save you from any types or forms of computer viruses. But the best antivirus that you can equip yourself is knowledge. Being familiar with typical or common adware or download links that is popping around your browser would save you and prevent your computer getting a computer virus. Prevention is better than cure, well, which is really true. I will give you personal tips on how you can prevent computer viruses from entering your PC. I will list down top 3 tips on how you can prevent computer viruses. Number 1 tip should be is to install an antivirus on your PC. There's many effective antivirus out there on the market but I would personally recommend Asset Nod32 for it is tried and tested. Disclaimer alert, we are not somehow related or affiliated nor advertising Asset Nod32. It's just that it works for us and for the sake of sharing we would like to recommend this antivirus for you. Number 2 tip would be to run a regular scheduled scan on your PC using your preferred antivirus software. It's like a part of maintenance on your PC like defragging your hard drive which I will cover on my next tech talk on how defragging works and how it can help your PC's performance. It's better to be safe than sorry so better run that scan every once in a while. Number 3 tip would be think before you click. For normal users, especially the non-technical ones, it would be better to research or give a look on some samples of an advertisement or a download link that contains viruses. Many people browse the vast internet for sure where computer virus originate. If you have the time, you can search on Google the different types of viruses that is roaming around the internet. So think before you click. What if you've done all of the preventive measures and still you got infected with the virus? Is it too late? No. There's still a shiny shimmering light of hope, but don't get down, things will go okay, take a deep breath, here are the things that you can do to get rid of that computer virus. Today I will introduce you to the AIDS method, which is analyze, identify, detect, search, and seek. First analyze, you need to analyze the behavior of your PC on how it reacts and if it deviates from normal user operation. Second, identify. Identify the previous things that you have done or installed on your PC before the virus started. Third, detect. If the virus still persists but your PC is still operable, you can go to your antivirus software and scan your whole system. It will automatically detect the type of virus and where the source is. Fourth, seek and search. If you're a technical person, you can search on the internet, especially on Google, where all the answer lies, and you can probably solve the problem by yourself. But if you're a normal user, you need to seek a professional IT support that can give you advice or options and can also remove the computer virus for you. Okay guys, I hope you learned something about computer viruses and how you can deal with them. Happy weekends, and I hope you had fun and see you on my next Tech Talk. Don't forget to hit the like button, comment, and subscribe to Tech Talk PH. <laughs> Please don't forget to hit the like, comment, and subscribe to Tech Course PH. <laughs>